Okay, so what are we talking about today? Today we're talking about Christmas foods that your dog should avoid. Ah. So to start with grapes, grapes is one that I think is quite commonly known, but not everyone knows about it. Grapes should be kept out of reach of your dog at all times. Just one or two grapes can cause your dog to become really poorly. Yeah. Christmas cake. Yes. Puddings. Mince pies. <laughs> all of them. <laughs> all contain uh, sultanas and raisins. Yes. Uh, yeah. Which are all grapes aren't they? They're just yes. dried grapes. So um, obviously uh, we can't give that at all. Um, they're also um, high in fat, high in fat calories. We don't want that. No. Yeah. <laughs> um, and one that I think most people know, chocolate, chocolate coins, chocolate decorations. Most things around Christmas are made from chocolate. Please, please, please keep the chocolate away from your dog. Even though chocolate is really bad for your dogs, that will not stop them trying to eat it. Um, and it, with it being Christmas, there's going to be a lot more in the house than there usually is, so you have to be really vigilant about it, especially if you do hang... I know when I was little, we used to hang little Christmas yeah. decorations off the tree and you'd get one every day, but just be really aware of that. Even if you hang them up high away from small dogs, that doesn't mean they're not going to knock them off and yeah. forage them from the ground. Do you have a lot of nuts in your house over Christmas? It's funny, isn't it? Because yeah. we, we tend not to during the, the year, but at Christmas time, all the nuts come out. Yeah. Now, macadamia nuts, which are your posh nuts, I don't have them, but I know there's lots in the shops. Um, they, are, they are poisonous. Um, so they can cause um, depression, they can cause uh, tremors, weakness, um, they can cause vomiting and fits. Um, so we need to be ex especially careful yes. with the nuts. And I don't think that's something that you'd necessarily link would you so i think a lot of people know grapes and chocolates but macadamia nuts isn't one that and it's also you know trying to um have these things not on low tables yes um, and keeping them up in the kitchen and out of the way and if you've uh, got a dog that's a scavenger like my dogs are then um, have a stair gate have a stair gate keep them away um unsurprisingly alcohol is not very good for your dog and um, we tend to drink it a lot more around Christmas, nothing wrong with that. You tend to cook with it a lot more around Christmas as well. So if you're busy cooking and you've got lots to do and you're leaving that bottle of wine that you're putting in your gravy out on the side, if that got, gets knocked over and your dog is lapping all of that up, that's really not gonna do your dog any good at all. Blue cheese. This love is what I didn't know. I love a bit of cheese. I love blue cheese. <laughs> um, apparently there's a substance in blue cheese called Rock 14C. Uh, which is a substance that's produced by the fungus uh, that obviously makes the cheese blue. Doesn't make it sound very yeah. appealing, does it? Tasty. <laughs> Tasty for dogs, but can cause seizures, seizures and fits. So, best keep it away. See, that I think is a really important one because I know for me, I do a lot of training with my dog with cheese, yeah. and I wouldn't have automatically known that some cheeses are good and others aren't because yeah. he will do anything for a piece of cheese. Yeah. Um, Bones are obviously quite common around Christmas as well with the different roasts and joints and things that you have. And dogs, if there's one thing they are going to go for, a good bone is going to be one of them. You just have to be careful about a cooked bone because when it is cooked it can then start to splinter. Not only can that cause upset in your dog, dog's digestive system if they are swallowed, but I know it can cause problems in their mouth if they get a sharp bit. And Actually, just having sharp shards of bone around the house isn't going to be very nice for you either if you're stepping on those. good idea that I normally tell clients with bones is um, buy the marrow bones the, in, the, in its raw state. Yeah. Um, I think you can buy them in the pet shops as well. Um, and freeze them. Um, so freeze them at raw so they're not cooked. Um, keep them in a bag in the freezer and then you can take the bone out whenever you want to keep your dog occupied yeah. and just give it raw. Um, up, you know, 20 minutes later, half an hour later, put it back in the bag and back in the freezer again. So it lasts for, lasts for a lot longer. Yeah. Just not cooked ones, too dangerous unfortunately. Okay. Alright, thanks. Thanks for listening. See you tomorrow.